Hello, I am Aero Flood Advisor, and I'm finally playing Civ 5 again. Still as Poland, let's see here. Where we left off, Washington, well, American general got destroyed. Washington was sniped by Kamehameha of the Polynesia when I was trying to take it over. Let's see, other things have happened since then. Um, got a new mouse, and it seems like it's already dying because sometimes it double clicks randomly. And they announced Civ 5, or not Civ 5, but Civ Beyond Earth. It's going to be amazing. Now, planning my attack strategy here. Well, all other strategies too, not just attack. Let's see. These workers are not set to automate currently, which is good because as soon as they're done with that... Actually, no. Moving them up there right now because I need that coal. Thinking if I haven't chosen an ideology already, which I have not... I'll probably do order because the coal plus the factory science boosting sounds just amazing. Also, when we left off, India was about to get pummeled. Now, they have a pretty good force around there, but crossbowmen versus riflemen and four artillery. Yeah, sure. Let's see here. I have some stuff down here defending cities. No big deal, really. That's right, this run I was going for my usual strategy. The one I do most often when I'm playing just by myself, not recording, is just kind of a combination of the combat. Let's go to the next turn, combat and diplomatic. My goal is to... Oh, Iroquois have adopted order before me. Oh no. The idea being I'll take over the continent, then befriend all the city-states and I'll win that way. Let's see. I am ahead in literacy. They must have uh, jumped to modern era already. Well, let's look at the tech tree. Okay, I'm going for great war infantry. That'll be the modern era thing. Yeah, they must have gone for like railroads or something right away. Anyway, let's get this party started. Oh, yeah. He, he knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. Yeah, we'll get on with it. Let's see here. Pew pew! Probably should have moved the artillery up entirely before going to battle, but this will work just fine. What I'm gonna do for now is mostly just let them come to me. Because if I try to charge in right now, it's just gonna be a huge mess, especially with the city there taking pot shots at my army. So I'll let all these Crap units come over first. Aw, oh, yeah, there we go. I know I'm attracting attention. You don't need to tell me. Gosh, jeez. Alright, let's see. Great writer. Uh, okay, let's get some tourism here. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse, and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. Now, regarding that one, I'll be honest, I like reading. But I found it very difficult to get through Moby Dick. Like, parts of it were an amazing story, but also other parts were, like, really weird, dry, almost textbooky, And it's kind of off-putting, especially since it broke the rhythm of the story itself, in my opinion. I should probably give it another try sometime. But, yeah, it, it didn't really jive with me, you know? I mean, this is coming from somebody that made it through War and Peace, and that book got crazy because, well, you start losing track of, like, who's family members, who's after a while, and stuff like that. But that was actually a pretty enjoyable story, once you're able to keep track of everything. Oh boy, another Gatling gun. In it goes. Let's see... Pew pew... Um... Oh, other things have happened recently. It was the 4th of July a couple days ago. And I was actually going to record yesterday on the 5th, except my neighbors not only still had fireworks, they had stuff that, uh... I'm not sure is illegal for civilians to have. I mean, the sounds of the things. Fantastic big booms, like... Fantastic bassy noises that rattled the house. But I figured it was not really good from recording situations because 
Yeah, I know, it's interesting to play Civ 5 while that was going on because it's kind of like turning into a 5D experience. Like, you know, like you go to Disney and you get through special movie theaters where they blow air and stuff at you and there's this mist sometimes. It was like that, except a little bit scarier because you're concerned whether or not they're going to hit your house with the stuff. But all's good. Just doing it earlier in the day than I was originally planning, just to hopefully avoid that if it happens again. Oh. Now, oh, that was a hill over a river, that's why. That's why I couldn't move two tiles. Oh. Oh, he's a bit close there. Uh, this should be okay for now. I'll move him back, though, I'm sure. I'm sure he's gonna get hit, but it'll be okay. Let's see, how much of India is there? Y you can see I'm having some trouble with the mouse right now. Uh, <laughs> Polynesia expanding down there. I probably won't worry about that. He's no longer on the continent. But once I take care of Delhi... Easy peasy. Uh, let's see, would I keep that city? Yeah, it'll grow nicely. That's some good stuff. Would I keep that city? Um, Probably not. I mean, I have the coastal city there, and I already have a coastal city down in... This, excuse me, sorry, the stuff that's actually mine. Oh yeah, Mumbai is for some reason all the way up there. And that's not a terrible spot. I'd probably keep that one. Let's see. Now let's keep going forward. No point deciding what I'm going to keep before I take it. <laughs> ah, ooh. Actually, at this point, I should probably save them. Save them until I get to... Science Labs or something. Okay, you are going to move forward. Uh, pot shot on that. Uh, hmm... I should probably take care of the enemy army first. I get a nice good sightline to the city because there's a spy in there. Sneaky little spy. He's about to have a bad time. Hope he's good at dodging. Ooh, um... Let's see. I like the looks of that one. Brandenburg Gates. Give my military a bit more power and I get the Great General. I could go for some of the other stuff too, but I'm already in the lead for science. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, this is a mortal difficulty, so if I have a nice lead like that already, oh, I'm in good shape. Um, let's rotate you around. Yeah, it's going to be in the range of the city, I know. Uh, oh dear. Something was hitting that. Oh, that one heals up. Ooh, great war infantry very soon. Let's see. Um, nah, can't move in just yet. Where'd I find uranium? Not uranium, aluminum. Oh, goody, right outside my capital. Good stuff. <laughs> my one salt on planes. Hmm, let's see. Uh, uh oh. Oh, my musk rifleman got killed by musketmen. Where is that at? Oh, it's the one that's like right outside the range of the city. Oh, now India has their own riflemen. Welp, better get shooting at the city. Yeah, and then once that's taken care of though, it's gonna be ridiculously easy to take the other two. Or three, really. But before I take Mumbai, I'd have to go to war with Ah, no. I'd have to go to war with Polynesia. Well, I wouldn't have to. It'd just be more fun that way. So I lost an artillery. It'll be fine. Oh, World's Fair. Wait. Wait a minute. I guess Washington must have been the other person. But since they got killed, their proposal went away. Ah, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going for it. World's Fair. I can put my other cities towards it. Okay, let's see. Speaking of other cities... Trade routes! Yay! 
bombarding the enemy. Woohoo! Hmm, great general. I already have one up in my army, though. I might as well move him up just in case. Okay, that's going down pretty quickly now. Probably next turn I could start moving my melee troops in. Up. Oh, oh ho! Feisty, are you? Oh, hey! That makes things easier, thank you. I didn't have to worry about being the me one that declares war on people. <laughs> Not that I cared before. Okay. Oh, oh no! There's missionaries outside my city. Whatever will I do? Make a proposal. Hmm... It's a good question. What should I propose? Oh, I think I know what it must have been. I must have said something like Embargo America before, and... Because I killed America, it was no longer that big of a deal. Let's see... I don't have a religion. Ah, oh, do 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 I could say Embargo Polynesia. Yeah. Okay, World's Fair. World's Fair. Uh, I'm gonna let them finish the public schools first. And the Wonder. Those to me matter way more. Ooh. How about that? Artillery gained a level. Ooh. Yes, got the coal. Let's put a farm there, what the heck. Move in the guns. Move that gun up. I can fire on things. Oh, oh, there's cannons in the water. Not remotely concerned. Oh yeah, this is gonna make it, things really easy. Oh, well then. Everyone hates me. It's a little concerning with the whole city-state thing, because now any city-states I ally with, you'll attack. And the, any city-states that they're already allied with, well, whoops, they're not gonna like me so much. What did I do? Oh, I misclicked on that artillery, now it's trying to go, like, down there. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, can you do it? Yes. Um, do, do, do. Let's go with medic. You're gonna just stay there. You're gonna go there. Um, I'll still take out India first before touring my sights to Polynesia. Ooh, they got a lot of goodies. But my cities are also pretty well defended. And even the ones that are not, well, I don't mind them so much. I mean, I just took them over. I should probably start churning out military again, though. Before I get too far behind. Oh yeah, Valletta, my favorite. Cavalry, goody good. Up they go. They'll play interference up north here. Um, kill that. You're going to heal. Jeez. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Well, let's have a defensive spy now. And let's put them in that city. Because I'm going to have crap line of sight otherwise with those jungles there. Oh, a manufactory. Isn't that nice? Let's see... I'm concerned about Nukuhiva because it's in the middle of the mountains like that. That's gonna be another tricky-to-hit city. Hmm... 